Hi, in today's video, we'll look at how to add your investment property to your ShareSite portfolio and track it along with your stocks, ETFs, and all other asset classes. To begin with, you log into your ShareSite account and open up the portfolio into which you want to add the investment property. Click on the Add New Holding button and then onto the link that says Add a Custom Investment. When you get to this screen, I would add a name or a code for this particular investment property. So I'm going to call it IP1 and give it a name that's really intuitive to you. So I'm going to call it Derby Street Property. In the investment description, you need to change it to a property fund. And in the country drop down, uh, you should leave it at the country where the actual property is. If the property is in a country outside of where your tax settings for the portfolio are, then it would just translate the currency from that to your home countries. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it as Australia and then go ahead and create the custom investment. Once the custom investment has been created, you need to give ShareSite some trade information. So let's say for demonstration purposes, I bought this property in September of 2020. Or in other words, I got the settlement of this property on the 1st of September 2020. I'm going to give it a buy trade of quantity 1 and a price of say $500,000. Now in the brokerage amount, I would add all the costs that you incurred as part of purchasing this property. So that includes your stamp duty, any kind of buyer's agent fee, the solicitor fee, and all of those miscellaneous expenses. So let's say that all came to about $30,000. The beauty with the share site system is also that you can attach any commentary or in provide any documentation uh, to store against this particular transaction. I'm just going to go ahead and save trade. Once I've done that, it starts appearing in my portfolio. So if I scroll down, here's the IP1 uh, Derby Street property uh, that we just added. Now, let's assume that this investment property gets a rental income from it. Now, every month's rental income is exactly the same as a new dividend. So I'm going to start adding dividends on this property uh, I'll change it to a non-trust income and I go back to 2020 and say from the 1st of October, I started receiving a monthly rental income on that property uh, net of expenses. So let's say, for example, uh, I got 1600 as the total amount and again, it's uh, easy to journal this uh, in terms of the comments, as well as upload the rental receipt from the property agent that you received in this particular, by clicking on the choose file button. I'm going to save new payment. And it appears, starts appearing as dividend information as part of tracking this particular asset class. So I'm going to scroll up. You can see that the dividend information has already started appearing. Now you can imagine that as you keep crediting or adding this information for every month, you can start seeing the actual dividend information on that property and thereby comparing it to all other asset classes in your portfolio. If there's a change in the price of the property, you can manage that by actually clicking on the Manage Prices button and enter a price or just a shortcut over here. So let's say in September of 21, you know that this got revalued to $550,000. So I just add that and I click on save price information. Now, when you do that and actually do a little quick refresh of this portfolio of this particular entry, now you can see that it actually records a capital gain and a dividend return information thereby giving you a total return. Now, as you can imagine, 
you can view this as part of all your other reports in within sharesite and again compare against all your other asset classes this wraps up the how to add an investment property to your portfolio video if you want to watch more educational videos on sharesite don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload any new videos follow us on social media at @sharesite for product updates and announcements